The tree is completely rotten. Totally rotten all the way through. All it took was a little bit of shaking. And look at how many bad apples fell off of it, exposed themselves. That was a big part of what the last few days has been about. It's now quite obvious who so many of those bad apples are and what we are dealing with. As I have been saying, this is an artificial force, an artificial vision that we are contending with. It outed itself in multiple ways in the last few days. It just took a little bit of shaking to reveal and expose its putrid, ugly, disgusting, just horrendous vision. That's the fruit. That's the fruit in its garden. That's what everyone has taken in, which has divided us all. And look, it's now so blatantly obvious, as I've been saying. And it should have taught everyone quite a lesson. And I could tell you this, it's teaching me just as much. I am not someone who is on a pedestal. I am learning just as much as everyone else. I don't have hubris. I am not better than anyone. Do not look to me as some savior. I am just doing my best like everyone else. I'm pouring my whole heart into all of this. And when I learn something, when I learn something, I share it. I share it freely because that's what should be done, especially in such a dark hellhole like this. Anyone who gleans a little bit of information or finds a nugget of insight, it's like they're the golem in the Lord of the Rings. And they go, it's my precious. And now I have to write a book and sell this nugget. They always have to try to make a profit off of everything. So no, I'm eating a lot of humble pie, as one can imagine. A lot of humble pie. When when you're homeless, when you're living out on the streets it's tough you eat you eat humble pie all day long every day and a lot of it is hard to swallow yeah it's tough and these this artificial force you can see it it doesn't it doesn't care it doesn't give a shit about anyone but itself it is hubris it's the one that exalts and just tears you down tears everyone down you You express a bit of any emotion, and it laughs. It laughs, and it's just ready to just eat you alive again. It's waiting around the corner with its snickering. It's just so disgusting. So yeah, I learn just as much. This is the honest truth just as much as every other real heart there who has been paying attention this last week the the tree was shook and it exposed them 
Is my passion real? Yes, absolutely. Damn right it's real. Only bringing the truth. So I'm a bum. I'm a bum. I'm a homeless bum. I'm making that crystal clear. I'm no leader. No teacher. No one to follow. I'm going to be going on a walk in the not too distant future. That's the truth. But I'm a homeless bum going on a walk. And maybe, I, I don't know, maybe some other homeless bums who realize that they're in a really bad place, a really dark place, may want to go on a walk too, heading in the same direction. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to go on that walk alone. And maybe other people will want to go on a walk alone, but maybe they might want to he- head in the same direction. But I'm, I'm no one to follow. Just keep that in mind. I'm a, I'm a homeless bum and you... I mean, no one follows a homeless bum. Like, that's obvious, right? Society, you know, it's, you, look at that. That's a homeless bum. That's not, that's not someone to, to follow or listen to, obviously. That's just obvious. So I'm, I am no leader. I'm no messiah. My goodness. Like a savior? Gee, no, I'm no savior. That's for sure. I'm making that crystal clear. I am no savior. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. For sure. Anyone who might go on uh, a similar walk, well, I mean, it's going to be you're walking alone because I'm no one to follow. But... (laughs) In my, in my heart of hearts, which is my own belief, see, that's, that's the freedom to believe, right? There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. I'm not harming anyone. I, I can believe anything. And I, I believe in the impossible. I'm, I've always expressed that. The impossible is possible. Absolutely. I believe in immensities that are unfathomable, but I'm just a, I'm a homeless bum. So we, we know that, well, I know that I I won't, I can't use the royal we, how dare I? So I know that in a, in a dark place based on my heart based vision personally, that a dark place doesn't believe in the impossible and definitely doesn't believe in a homeless bum. Uh, that's no one to listen to. Uh, so for, and for sure, uh, follow no one, follow no one. And definitely a similar walk. Well, that'll have to be done alone, but perhaps, you, I mean, I'm, I'm going on this walk and Maybe there's others out there who I'm calling real hearts and maybe they'll, they'll go on a similar walk and maybe they'll be within talking distance. I, I'm not certain. I, and I can't, I can't tell anyone what to do. I mean, this is, I'm just going on a long walk, uh, because I believe in my heart of hearts I've found a way out of the darkness of this place, which I am calling hell, which I am calling hell as a point of fact. So it's up to you. I mean, anyone listening, whether you want to believe 
you're in that dark place or not. That's completely up to you to believe that or not believe it. That's personal choice. That's free will. That's your agency. And I have zero say in that regard. You're going to do what you're going to do, and I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just talking about it. That's all. But no, I'm I'm no leader uh, whatsoever in any regard, in any group. What, like, no groups, it's like, that's like a society. Like a secret society or something that's separated. You know, it's, oh, here's a group, and they're separated from the rest. Well... The heart never cuts and divides and separates. It brings the truth to everyone freely, which has always been done. That should be obvious. I've always brought the truth freely to everyone in the entire world. That's the most obvious thing that I've been doing for years on here. That's not debatable whatsoever. So the tree is shook. Absolutely, a big lesson learned, for sure. And that lesson had implications involved in regards to the attempt to set me up. Absolutely, because, and here's the lesson, if I had continued, let's say, going in that direction where, oh, now I'm going to contact just certain numbers of you just certain ones and yeah you can go back to the video the message where that said see that's the lesson I learned lots of lessons from the heart so if I continue to go forward oh look this is how how a cult starts he's only going to contact certain people He's isolating them. And then, oh, just keep it secret. Don't tell anyone the secret knowledge that I've just told you in this small group. Do you see the lesson? I think, I think it's obvious. It's a big lesson. Never, ever, ever separate anyone from anyone else. Saying that, oh, now you have the secret knowledge and now you can feel as if you're superior. It's like you're in a secret society or a cult. So no, that's not correct. That's very obvious. Big lesson, right? No, continue bringing the truth freely. To everyone in the world, absolutely everyone, and ensure that, ensure that the one who's bringing the truth says, well, this is, this is my heart. This is the truth in my heart. And in my heart, I believe I can have any belief I want. I believe I am the heart, which is the earth. And and perhaps other real hearts will also have the same belief. That's, I feel in my heart, that's the most beautiful belief to have ever. Because then you treat it as sacred. You're treating the earth as sacred because one realizes that, well, I am the heart. I am the earth. That's hence the anagram, right? So I definitely don't want to destroy it. I don't want to consume it. I don't want to treat it as anything but the most sacred thing in all of eternity. That's absolutely the power of belief. So I change my vision, and therefore I change my beliefs. But if I start separating, start cutting and dividing, right? Just, oh, I'll only contact you, and then I'll tell you the secret information, and just keep it to yourself. 
And then this develops a level of hubris. Now you can feel like you're superior as opposed to the others. And once we weed everyone out that isn't welcome, then we can head off to the better place. (laughs) And it's just ridiculous. That's absolutely a farce. Everyone, everyone gets the same opportunity. That's what I meant by the opportunity of an eternity. That's in my heart. In my heart, in my belief, what will be brought forth. What is being brought forth. That's the message. I can carry a message. Absolutely. I'm the heart. I'm speaking. It's up to everyone if they want to listen or not. That's a choice. You can listen. Sure. You don't have to believe me. Again, I'm going to repeat. I'll repeat myself a lot. I'm a homeless bum. I mean, my goodness, just that's no savior whatsoever. (laughs) That's someone to laugh at for sure. So I just wanted to point out the immensity of of the lesson. And of course, the the zombie type will will point out, look, he said he was going to contact who he wanted to. And if anyone didn't like that, he told them to fuck off. (laughs) For sure, that's part of the lesson. That's absolutely part of the lesson. If that wasn't done, the whole lesson couldn't have happened. I couldn't just say, guess what? This is, this is the plan of what I'm going to do to show you the lesson. First, I'll say, send me your emails so I can contact just some of you. That's, this is what I'm going to plan on doing. And then, And then I will. I'll only contact some of you. (laughs) And and after that, I'll tell you the secrets that I've told no one else. (laughs) The revelations that are just for you. (laughs) So if I just expose the lesson, like from the start, then it's no lesson. It has, it has to be played out. That's, that's how a spiritual teaching happens. And that's something that I have also been learning along the way. I have no hubris. I'm not above saying that uh, I can't learn. Oh my goodness. I am learning nonstop. Of course I am. I'm I'm wanting every last bit of truth that I can find, all of it, especially in a world of darkness and deception and chaos and secretiveness filled with these secret societies. Yeah, and anyone thinks that Freemasonry you know, is some good organization. That's the devil's organization right there. Absolutely. And again, everything I say, I'm going to repeat this again, is all just from my heart and my beliefs. I'm not telling anyone, anyone at all, what to do or what choice to make. All I can do is beg and plead as a bum would, for change. Do you get the pun? I'm begging you to change. I'm begging you for change. Please see with your heart. Please. I'm just a bum. Like, who's going to listen to a bum? I mean, honestly. Maybe another real heart who's been torn down and tossed into the gutter too. That's where I am. I'm in the gutter. 
That's why it's a war on the streets, yeah. It's a war. I'm in the dark. My heart is absolutely torn to pieces, broken, wide open, completely apart, rented, just destroyed, reduced to ashes, through and through. I'm crawling in the gutter, not literally at the moment, obviously. But yeah, spiritually, I absolutely am. That's a fact. So I'm not scared of showing emotion. I'm being completely vulnerable. I have no hubris. I'm not saying I know everything. Absolutely not. Only our true creators know everything. That's the fact. In my belief, in my heart, that's what I know as the fact. And I can express any belief that I want. All day long, as I said, that's that's the freedom of free will and my personal agency. So the lesson has been done and it shook it shook this evil system to its core even for a moment to expose itself and we should all we should all honestly have a good laugh about that at it finally honestly if you feel like laughing at it because it got scared it exposed itself I mean, wow. And and we all got a fantastic lesson, a fantastic teaching out of it. That that's that's how the spirit of the heart works. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. That's I I am saying that as an expression to our creators. And my passion, yes, absolutely, my passion is real. And while I'm walking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be immensely passionate while I'm walking. Of course, I am. I'm a passionate individual, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. This death system would love everyone to just remain calm. See, it's in the phonetic. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yeah, keep sinking further and further into death. Just calm, calm, calm. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and then it's also in the phonetic of a comma, which is a coma. Right, That's how the devil writes his stories, his tales. He includes a lot of commas, comas. One can see that even in basic literature. Because it's a litter, yeah. <laughs> it's one litter after another. And it's a bunch of garbage. <laughs> so these, these are accurate puns, and that's okay to laugh at that stuff. Uh, that... That lifts the spirit too, for sure. But at the same time, never losing sight, never losing sight of the bigger picture and the importance and the seriousness. I will always maintain that. This is as serious as it gets. And so the lesson on the prepping side I need to make this clear because there was a clear-cut lesson on that. And then obviously what was exposed by that fake Patreon channel just coming out of nowhere, trying to take your donations, again, trying to create a secret society, like literally a fraudster. Artificial intelligence just setting that up, you know, just again, as I said, trying to set me up like, wow. It's trying to set me up to take me down, see? Brings you up and then it takes you down. And it would have, you know, it, it it would have used its forces and minions, you know, to find me 
out here on the streets if I, you know, obviously just kept pressing forward and pounding that drum, right? Uh, but that's not what this is about. It was a lesson for all of us, freely, and a very, very, very important one. So, in my heart of hearts and my belief and my my vision... This is, this is it. This is, there's no future here, as I've said. So there's nothing to prepare for. There's no prepper supplies to store up. The house is going to be on fire. And you don't build inventories and prepper supplies in a house that's on fire. You see the nearest exit and you run as fast as you can towards it. That's it. And you don't care, you know, about gathering your things. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, the photo albums. <laughs> you hear these stories, you know, and I'm sure everyone's heard these types of stories. Oh, what about the photo albums? <laughs> oh, gee whiz. I mean, always the photos, you know, that's the Latin camera, right? Which is a vault. And yeah, it's because it wants to keep you in the vault. It wants to keep you uh, down in hell, uh, uh, all every last one of us. So just save, save the photos. Go back in, <laughs> and then if the person goes back in for the photos, and then that's that. You know, they uh, get burned in the house. So that we are uh, in. In my heart of hearts, in my view, in my vision, in my belief, well, there's no future here. And in my belief, in my heart, I see a way out. In my vision, I see a way out. And I'm walking towards that way out alone. It's a, it's a solitary walk. It's going to be lonely really lonely but that's okay i'm i'm going to do it i'm going to persevere like that i'm i'm being very serious i'm doing this walk I, that's why i've been talking about it so much cuz it's an immensity you know and so i have to as i said get get all of it out off my you know off my chest as i said you know my my heart is is trying its best to contain this immensity to see everything that it's all about because there's so much that it's about and and being a a journey alone because i'm i'm no leader uh, i'm not going to be leading anyone anywhere uh, at all uh, that's isolative to be a, a leader because that means you're uh, leading a specific group well no my message is for Everyone in the whole world just uh, see posting every one of these messages and works on YouTube, which is a service that anyone with the internet can access around the world. Well, and it's free. You didn't have to buy a book to hear these messages. Uh, public libraries, even where I am right now, this is how I'm doing this. I use the freely accessible internet that I can access outside outside at the public library anytime I want 24 hours a day 7 days a week I just walk up to the library sit outside and I can use the public internet so anyone asking that question well how are you doing this well I'm doing it freely with free public resources that's pretty amazing and then obviously uh you don't need any other equipment except just a cheap crap phone as someone rightfully pointed out you you just speak into a phone just a piece of garbage just a piece of garbage that you know someone tossed literally in the street wow cool <laughs> so f all these free things that's awesome thank you i mean doesn't work the best whatever who cares i mean this is this is a a dirty job if you will <laughs> crawling in the gutter you know having to 
do the message in the street. Uh, there's no f- fancy presentations. You know, that's the difference, you know, thinking, oh, I'm living like, you know, some kind of little emperor in this this dark realm, you know, and I can make clean, fancy presentations while living like an emperor. But, you know, this is wrong. This is This is not the right place. So when I see, I see in my heart, in my heart of hearts, yeah, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to keep laying down roots in the wrong kingdom. This is the wrong place. I need to get out of here. And geez, I can, I can see a, a fire, you know, in the near distance that looks like it's heading this way. And it looks immense, this fire. So I'm just going to start getting the message out there that, oh my goodness, you know, there's a, there's a fire just around the corner and it looks enormous. So that's, that's all I'm doing. I'm just talking about an enormous fire that looks like it's going to be sweeping everywhere. And geez, I... I just happened to see in my heart, my vision of my heart, uh, a door, a door like an exit. But it looks like a long walk to get to that exit, a really, really long walk. Well, that's okay. Well, because the vision of the heart is about immensities and seeing seeing v- through vast distances, seeing ahead further than can be imagined so that's what my heart is seeing i'm seeing a head of in a vast distance an exit from this fire that's coming so i'm going to walk towards it in the not too distant future but i i felt it's important to freely give a warning, a message out to anyone else who might be out there who also believes that a fire might be coming in their heart because they might realize that they are the earth, which is the heart, and they kind of see how everything's just going to shit and being destroyed by the second, like just consumed metastasically like a cancer in the body that doesn't care if it consumes every last resource to the last drop. It's cancer. That's what it does. It just keeps saying, there's still so much. This is the best. Woo! We're gonna party like this forever. Forever and ever and ever. It's so awesome and we should definitely send some more invites because right now over 8 billion at this party is not nearly enough at all we need to get that number to like 10 or 20 or 50 billion who knows how high because it gets more bumping with more people that's a that's a slamming party the more people, the better. And of course, it eventually becomes a shit show of unfathomable proportions. And I mean, when there's so much shit, there's, I mean, you run out of toilet paper right away. There's just a lot of asses to wipe. I mean, in 2020, yeah, that toilet paper, you know, the quarantine happened and that, it's like the toilet paper just disappeared off the shelf there's no toilet paper like wow yeah i wonder you know where did all where did all the toilet paper go and why just that one item for a little while i wonder if there was a a reason or a connection behind that oh who cares it's party time who cares about that just live it up and enjoy the party man that's what this place is all about woo this this bum talking about some fire what a loser 
He's a loser. Look at him. He's unhinged. He's a crockpot. Just listen to him speak. Listen to how he sounds. And on and on. Same same plays, same playbook. I that's obvious. The the completely rotten tree was shaken and exposed so much of its bad fruits. So great teachings have been learned and yeah, you don't prep you don't prep and store supplies and and store them in a house that's burning down. That's not what you do. You immediately leave the house. You run. You go towards the exit. You don't say, it's time to prepare. And of course, that, again, that's the the other aspect of the lesson. It's a lesson. Nothing more than that. And I learned, I learned through that lesson as well. I have no hubris. I am not above anyone. I have been pouring the totality of my spirit into the search for truth for a very long time, just like a lot of you. That's the fact. I have, and the closer I got to certain things, it just so happened that it tore pieces of my life apart at the same time. And there's no way, in my view, I could ever call that coincidence. It always felt that there was something behind it. Why am I getting torn down the closer I get to certain truths then something bad happens in my life? And it breaks my heart. And then I got really close in a lot of ways to certain things. And my hindsight, my 2020 hindsight, has been reflecting so much of that, so much of that in the last while. And that's also, I'm going to get into that uh, as well, reflections. That's what hindsight is all about. Can you see the connections to things, different experiences that you've had that have relation to each other? But the only way to actually see that, see the reflections, is to put those pieces together. That's what the hindsight of 2020 is all about. And I personally have an enormity of them. And I know that everyone who's a real heart out there also has an enormity of them because no one's treated as better than another by our creators. They're working as hard for every last one of us, every single one of us, to correct our vision, to see with our hearts. I'm not getting any special treatment in that way at all. I can tell you that. I want to make that clear. There's This is not about getting special treatment. That's this whole hierarchy system of this place. Someone's born through that particular woman and then, oh, well, you're royalty, now you were born through that one. So it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, it just, it it props these artificials up because they, in my view, that's what they have to be. They're in on it. They're of the system, of the whole zombie hive mind system, which is uh, what death is all about. It just creates that hive mind and then it controls it. It's the queen It sends its directives to its zombies, right? Just like the queen bee does the same thing. Bring me my honey. (laughs) And it does, but it collects the nectar of our spirit. 
in this system. So that's what death does. It collects the nectar of life, which is the heart, which is the earth. And for me personally, that's just so obvious. And just putting all the connections together. And with the vision, the hindsight of 2020 and all the reflections, so much more has been pulled together. Immensities upon immensities. As I said, I'm learning nonstop because I'm, I've been silent for quite some time. That's what I said. You know, as soon, this is how I've always done things. As soon as I learn something, I share it freely. I always have. I discovered the language key. I worked on it for a little bit. I wanted to be certain that it was a key. That's how I, how I did it. I, I knew after writing out hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of connections, I'm not exaggerating in the slightest, like just hundreds upon hundreds of pages of connections, just to make the idea of coincidence just seem the most absurd thing ever. And then I became certain this is a key. I use I started with different root words and then it would branch out right just like a web that's that's why it is a web it just branches out further and further and further and then the connections are just endless just endless just like a web this one leads to that one which leads to that one and just it webs off into other tangents you know obviously the phonetic alone could lead to tangent upon tangent and just uh, endlessly the etymology Every aspect about it, the, the alternate language connections to the word splitting. Just as I said, those were the main aspects. I discovered this is a key, but I had to be certain. So I worked on it for a while. And once immediately, once I was certain, I made that first video, The Golden Web. If anyone is wondering, I see some of you have questioned that. It was a key that I, I just discovered. I put it together. I used my heart to figure it out. I saw with my heart, geez, there's something here. There's just too many coincidences I'm seeing. And then eventually, I did. I put it all together, just as I explained in that video. It's a golden web. So I immediately shared the lesson that I have come to know in my heart is from our creators, from the true spirit, always doing their utmost to reach us in the dark, speak to us through the heart. But the problem is there's so much noise here, just so much chaos. And so no one's listening. No one's remaining silent, hence the anagram. The only way to listen is to be silent. That's why it's a key. Did you did you see the anagram? The only way to listen is to be silent. Silent. Listen. Listen. Silent. So, I did a lot of that. Just sitting in complete silence. I mean, not as a meditator... But just being silent, shutting off the mind, the mind, and I could, I could hear the cacophony of it all the time. It's just always wanting to, to chirp in, create some banter. So I sit in silence and therefore I'm able to listen with my heart and I'm very much just always in silence as much as possible. It's a little bit difficult with all the traffic I can tell you that but I do my utmost and the vision absolutely enhances definitively and the heart is an intelligence beyond imagination there's just again language and descriptions and words cannot touch the amount of intelligence is just, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to attempt to be poetic about it. 
It's just pointless. But how many see it as that? It's just always the mind, the brain is where all the intelligence is and the heart is just there to beat. (laughs) Pump your blood and keep the body alive. Yeah, well, it does. And this is a a shit suit, meat, meat suit corpse. So the heart absolutely keeps it alive. (laughs) That's absolutely obvious. And because it's a death system, it's always siphoning and all these cells, you know, that are imprisoned inside of it, uh, need to be fed as well. And so as one eats, they're getting eaten. The consumer is the consumed that's that insight and some of you have caught on to that and have been putting all these things together for yourselves because you're also silent so you're walking alone in that regard the walk I'm talking about I again uh, I'm going on an actual physical walk not as a metaphor not as uh, a symbol with just within myself i'm going to be leaving the place that i currently am at right now in the not too distant future after i get the message out of this fire uh, that's coming to burn everything down uh, so, I, yeah, just want to state that. Uh, but that's in my my personal view. I mean, everyone can view things however they want. That's your free will choice. That's, I will never disrupt your agency, ever. So that was the big lesson this week. I'm very thankful for that lesson. I really hope that everyone else is as well. I mean, learning from the heart is learning from the impossible, learning from just a perfect vision. That's the the best way I can describe it. It is the perfect vision. Our true creators are so loving and benevolent. And this hubristic devil that pulled us all into its death lair is there's there's not an ugly enough word to describe this sickness this disease vision of its making of its design of its inner working of its own quality nothing could be disgusting enough to make an accurate portrayal of what this devil actually is. I'm not even going to try. It's just horrendous. So, there is no prep to do, and the walk is alone. But maybe, maybe others who are seen with their heart are going to do a walk alone, carry, yeah, carry their own dead weight, uh, carry your cross. You can use that word. Sure. Just, I'm, I'm carrying a cross right now. It's this, this meat suit, this corpse. It's a, it's a heavy cross, uh, every day, uh, carrying this burden around, you know, my heart lifting this dead weight of this corpse, uh, this cross, which is a, An X, that's what a cross is. And this is the wrong idea from the wrong vision. Because this is the devil suit. It's a wrong vision, incorrect. It gets the X. That's uh, anything that's incorrect gets an X. Which is a cross, obviously. And so, yeah, it's, it's a heavy burden every day. And I know so many of you out there feel that or maybe are starting to feel it some might not i mean this cross you know carries uh, the promise of its pleasure land too right it is a devil's ride that's the point and his ride just like a carnival like a circus well 
those rides are pretty expensive. I mean, anyone who's been to an actual carnival, you know, one that comes to your town, right, with with the rides and uh, all the candy and everything else that goes along with it, the animals, the freaks, so on. And then you want to go on one of the rides, you want to go on the carousel or maybe you want to go on the, the swing ride or whatever they have and you got to buy some tickets and those tickets are uh, 10 bucks each, let's say, and then you want to go on the carousel. Well, that's going to be a hundred tickets. <laughs> holy, holy cripe. Wow. That's an expensive ride. Uh, I guess here's, here's my hundred tickets. <laughs> you just happen to buy that many. I, I mean, I'm not really exaggerating, uh, but I think, uh, people get the point, uh, I don't know if anyone just heard that, uh, again, you know, there's, there's always traffic, uh, uh, where I am, as I said, you know, uh, being, uh, out, you know, just out in the streets, <laughs> it's, it's like, it's nitty gritty, you know, that's, that's what it is. So I, I can't edit, you know, any of this, it's just what it's going to be. So yeah, that's that's why it's real. It's real. Uh, no time to edit. There's no time. It's just. It's got to be what it is, and and I'm making my message as clear as possible uh, all the time. And my own lessons are being given at the same time, and I share them. And yeah, just like the golden web, I put that out as soon as I was certain. Here you go, free. It's free. Here's a key. How I, I'm not gonna write a a book. Well, I wrote, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of pages. I did write a book, actually. That is the fact. I could have. See, that would have been the incorrect choice. It, it would have been the choice that the mind wanted me to take. Oh, take all your writings that you did and publish it as a book that you can sell. Charge twenty nine ninety nine. Always one cent under that even number. <laughs> it's a psychological tactic. It makes it seem like it's so cheap. Oh, only twenty nine ninety nine. But if it was thirty, ooh, yeah, I don't quite have enough money. <laughs> well, that doesn't make sense. Only one cent. Cents. Yeah, all all these puns too. You know, it's uh, it is some of it is quite funny, uh, honestly. But at the same time, it, it's it's very serious. I I don't treat any of this like a joke that should have been so blatant over the years. Also, and as I learned anything that was of immense importance, I shared it immediately. I never held anything back. I've always freely shared it to the whole world on the free platform and YouTube, the last I looked, uh, second most popular uh, website on the internet. When I looked, I believe Google was the first. Not, like They're just the devil's tools. So I'm going to take the devil's tools, YouTube, and use the tool against it. You damn right I'm going to. And people wonder, like, your channel was untouched during the the quarantine. You said vaccine a whole bunch of times, and all these other channels got taken down. Well, yeah, I have never put monetization on, ever. That's the point I freely gave. This is for educational purposes. I'm doing my best to bring the lesson that I have learned to everyone else freely. I'm not going to put it in a book that I can sell on a website or on some other web, you know, uh, corporate website. 
for a bunch of money and then there's a lot of people just struggling to make ends meet and I'm going to say well you know you might be really looking for the truth but you don't have another $30 and this information might be a game changer for you but that's unfortunate uh, you're not going to have access to it because you simply don't have that extra $30 uh, on any given month it's just paycheck to paycheck and the library uh, doesn't have a copy and so on, right? So, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, if only, if only I had just given it freely. Like, like the heart does. Just giving all of these pieces of critical information and insight freely for the whole world on essentially the the most well-known platform as well make the right choice in that regard well how can i reach the most hearts should i use an obscure website where there's only a couple thousand people that access that website every so often or should i just go for the gusto and oh this is the most popular one in the world yeah that's that's absolutely the one i'm going to choose it has the potential to reach the most hearts so darn right absolutely i'm going to choose that one that's the correct choice this is a dark hell death system you don't leave that to chance and just oh well i felt better with bit shoot or whatever the hell yeah, yeah, it looks like that's world famous bit shoot. I should move my platform over there where it might reach way less people. Like that's as stupid as it gets. So no, I wasn't deplatformed for saying vaccine because I never put it on monetization. And then all these other truther channels, if you will, they all had monetization on. Every last one of them. And then deplatformed, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. And then, oh, look, the system is against me. You monetized your channel. You didn't think it was important enough to give the information that you were finding freely. That's the truth. You figured, ah, oh, you know, I can make a quick buck. It would be far better. This system forces. Yeah, everyone to make money. We're prisoners in its system. In its single-eye death system. Hence, mon-eye, money. Oh, I'm going to make you pay. Pay endlessly. Yeah, it's a pain. See the phonetic? Pain, pain, pain. Paying system. It's just in the tell, in the words again. And it makes you pay endlessly. So it would be better for these truther channels... To just go work a job anywhere else to make your slave system dollars. And then after you get back from work, pour the immensity of yourself into the search. Get less sleep. Do whatever you need to. Holy shit, I'm in the wrong place. I'm going to spend all the hours I have in the evening just working on finding the truth doing my research reading any like searching everywhere and then anything i find i'm going to immediately share it that i feel is relevant and important but no oh no no i i can't do that i got to build a truther empire instead i got to i have to make this my full time job it's the only way and then I can write a book every year and charge $50 for it. And then set up a big studio eventually. Way to go, David Icke. Look at your studio. You did it, man. Like, you built a truth empire. What an Alex Jones. Congratulations, Alex, on your mega empire. It's astounding. I mean, and last segment I ever watched uh, it's just ridiculous 800,000 news articles in front of that megalithic desk it's just <laughs> I mean come on so and then yeah we can create let's create the comparison 
I'm I'm bringing a message, a message of the heart, of the truth that I see as the correct vision. And I'm using free public library internet access and some junky technology that someone chucked aside. And there's no empire here. The empire has fallen. But somehow find a way to continue getting a message out to as many as possible. There's no big studio. <laughs> there's there's nothing here. You can you can do those those clips on on uh, on a digital piece of technology. It's it is quite you know something what can be done on on a, a piece of crap, if you will. So there's that. Uh, that's yeah. That's why you know. Uh, uh, the screen is black. There's no time for a presentation. And the library, you know, the, the access, you know, is there. It's free. You know, any, any tiny, uh, little edits for those snips, they have, they have the devil's tools in there as well. So that's, it's all free. I can, I can utilize that. And no, there's no need for, some big studio to get a message out ever it's as simple and nitty gritty like like the country band you know nitty gritty uh, obviously people catch that reference whatever that's not i'm not getting into promotion of of uh, music or anything like that uh, or pointing uh, things like that out that's not what i do everyone i feel that are listening understands where I come from. So it's raw, it's real, it's unedited. It's a street message. It really is the beginning of the street revelation, if you will, of my walk alone. And I am alone. That's, that's the fact. I'm alone. And it's not easy. It's it's anything but easy. And I, I I feel like some of you have have offered me a place, and thank you uh, from my heart to yours. Thank you. I your your intention is good, and I see that. I I get sometimes overwhelmed. Uh, by that generosity that's why i say i'm talking to the real hearts and there are there are real hearts out there i i know i i i feel it and i know you're there i know you're listening that's why that's why i mean it i i'm only talking to the real everyone else is unreal and and that's that's been exposed so i'm going to have to Leave it at that for this message here. I hope I created some understanding centering around the lessons and the significance of what has been done, what has been exposed. It is so significant and so important. That's the way I see it, and my hope is that the real hearts see it in the same way, too. Thanks. Thanks for being here with me, if you're the real. And I I've maintain I am only, only speaking to the real. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.